David R. here. Today I'm going to talk to you about this book, Blockchain for Dummies, by Tiana Lawrence. This book was published in 2017, so some of the information might be a little dated, although I still believe that this book has value. Here's a quick look at contents at a glance. As you can see, the book is divided into five parts. Introducing Blockchain. Beginning at the beginning, what blockchains are. There are public blockchains, permissioned blockchains, private blockchains. What blockchains do. A blockchain is a peer-to-peer -peer system with no central authority. That's very important. A cryptocurrency is a digital token that has a market value. Cryptocurrencies are traded on exchanges like stocks. Well-known blockchains protocols include Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Hyperledger, and Factum. Why blockchains matter. Blockchains can create trust in digital data. The structure of blockchains. Blockchains are composed of three core parts. A block, a chain, and a network. How blockchains work? Well, a user requests a transaction. The request is transmitted to the network. The network validates the transaction or the transaction is kicked out. The transaction is added to the current block of transactions. The block of transactions is then chained to the older blocks of transactions and the transaction is confirmed. Picking a blockchain. As you can see, blockchains are a special type of database. First you want to determine your needs then defining your goal, choosing a solution, getting your hands on blockchain, creating your first Bitcoin wallet. That's pretty straightforward. Use Coinbase app. I think that maybe there are other places you can go besides those two by now. You want to create a second Bitcoin wallet because you want to receive the Bitcoins you'll send. You need to make a second Bitcoin wallet for that reason. Then you need a Bitcoin vanity address. See, like they say, this is like having a personalized license plate for your car. Using smart contracts with Bitcoin. See, that's what a smart contract is. Beholding the Bitcoin blockchain. Gives you a brief history of the Bitcoin blockchain. Some misconceptions here. As you can see, there are plenty. Bitcoin, the new Wild West. You know, there are fake sites. There are get rich quick schemes out there here we go mining for bitcoin and on and on you've probably heard of these things you just never knew exactly what they were countering the ethereum blockchain exploring the brief history of ethereum Let's see I don't really care about the history as much. Ethereum, the open source worldwide computer. You probably want to know what a decentralized autonomous organization is. And we got the Ripple blockchain. This is for moving and trading globally. So you can see blockchains are used for different things. Depends on what your needs are. And uh, like this one, Factum is a publishing platform. Let's see. And we go to Digibyte. Here's for gaming. And the list goes on. And then we have Hyperledger. Ledger. 
Microsoft Azure. And on and on. So uh, I suggest getting a book like this, or even this book, or even watching videos if you want to learn something about Bitcoin. But it can be confusing. I think this book is technical and you might want to read it over a couple times if you don't understand that kind of terminology. But uh, yeah, this is the this is the book in a nutshell. Yeah. Well, that's all I got. Talk to you later. Bye.